What's up friends, it's Joelle and welcome to this vlog style what I eat in a week. I want to show everything that we did when I was in LA for the BTS concert, except for the concert itself, which is a separate vlog. But I realized all we did this week was work and eat. So we're turning it into a what I eat in a week. We are en route to LA to see BTS. And we're not seeing them for like four days though because we're not going till Thursday and it's Sunday, but we're so excited. We stopped to get some McDonald's and we're gonna be there in like hopefully four hours. Woo! I was literally so dumb where I was like, wow, this McDonald's and this gas station are so busy. Maybe everyone's going to see BTS in concert. Forgetting that it is Sunday after Thanksgiving, the busiest travel day of the year in the US. I'm like, not in my head, everyone's just going to see BTS. So, no thoughts, just ARMY. Hello, hello, we made it to LA, yay! We're in little Tokyo staying at the Miyako Hotel, which is super cute, big fan, but the room is not quite ready yet, so we're gonna go grab some lunch. Yeah, I ate too much McDonald's in the car, so now I'm just getting a little salmon bowl, but my guess is delicious looking ramen. Shinsengumi, it looks so good. You can get all these little toppings on the side and just toss them in yourself. And they have unlimited Calpico refills. Alrighty friends, we made it to the Miyako Hotel, which is where we're staying for the first two nights that we're here in LA. We get to enjoy a little bit of Little Tokyo, which is super fun because I've actually never spent any time here. And this hotel is very cute. It's like all the basics and relatively affordable. Quick little sweep of the room. I love that this hotel is just like right across the street from so many restaurants and boba shops and a lot of fun things to look at. It's really close to the like little Tokyo mall as well. So overall, really good location, which for me is everything in LA because I don't want to waste my time driving around to get food or anything like that. I just put a little bit of makeup on because people in LA just dress better than San Francisco. They look better and it makes me feel inspired to not go out looking ugly. Not saying that I can't go out without makeup because I do that all the time, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna put a little bit of effort in during this one week that we're here. I think we're gonna go walk around a little bit, right, McCall? Mm -hmm. I was so glad that Fujetsu Do Sweet Shop was actually right across the street from our hotel. I apologize if I just botched yeah. that name. But I feel like this place is an establishment in Little Tokyo. They make really fresh mochi of all different flavors with a bunch of different fillings and different fruits. If you've only ever experienced the mochi ice cream that you buy at like Costco or Trader Joe's, you absolutely need to come here and try real fresh mochi. We got a bunch of different flavors and they were also just so cute and colorful and aesthetic. And and the texture is unparalleled. In addition to just eating in Little Tokyo, there's also a lot of fun little shops to sightsee at and look around. We just had a nice time window shopping and walking after sitting for literally 12 hours a day. Wow, Cheesecake Factory, the most romantic American restaurant. <laughs> So we're at the Grove, like every other uh, LA YouTuber. It's a, an obligatory rite of passage for me to be you here. You haven't done this before? No, I've done this a billion times, <laughs> but you know, every opportunity, you gotta do it again. Beautiful, it's all like lit up, we're gonna get some food, it's gonna be great. We didn't actually end up eating dinner at the Grove because honestly, when we're in LA, all we wanna do is eat amazing Asian food, particularly Korean food. And in San Francisco, there's no BCD Tofu House, which is just a chain of Sundubu, which is just Korean tofu stew. So we had to hit this place up during our trip. We just had to. Honestly, during this stay in LA, I had a pretty boring daily schedule where I'd wake up and work out so that I wasn't just sitting on my butt all day. And then I would work for literally the entire day. For breakfast, we'd often just kind of eat things that we had in the hotel room. We got some apples from Trader Joe's. We ate the rest of our mochi and it was incredible, even the second day. Today is just a work day. You can hear my Outlook notifications, but Mike and I are eating some of our mochis. <laughs> Left of mochis for breakfast. This one's so cute. It looks like a little peach. Those cute green little tea. green tea mochi. It's so bad. Does it taste like green tea? Mm -hmm. This mochi place is so good. This is the desk setup for the week that we're here. I actually did bring my laptop stand and my keyboard and my mouse just because I'm so much faster 
at work when I have all these things, which is kind of psycho, but just a laptop does not do it for me anymore. <laughs> so. And then for lunch, since I was working, but Micah had a little bit more of a flexible schedule because she was just taking classes, she picked us up some udon just from across the street. I don't remember the name of the place, but in Little Tokyo, I swear you could walk into any of the establishments and you will probably find some really quality food. We're at Hanbat Shalangtang. We've literally just been sitting and working all day for like 12 to 14 hours. It's been grim, but this is our reward. <laughs> Shalangtang is absolutely one of my favorite Korean dishes of all time. It is really, really slow cooked bone broth that takes hours of boiling bones to make really rich, milky broth. I always get the brisket Shalangtang from Hanbat Shalangtang. They also have versions with tripe and other cuts of meat, but I feel like the brisket is classic. You just can't go wrong with it. You season it yourself with salt at the table. So unless you're like a super taster or something, definitely season it, add plenty of green onions onions and it just brings out all of the amazing meaty flavors of this bone broth. It is such a simple soup but is genuinely life-changing. I feel like we really tried to make the most of our evenings on this trip because we were so busy and working during the days. So we perused around K-Town a little bit of course, visited this poppin K-pop store and I feel like every shop in K-Town understood the assignment for the week. Literally every single shop we went to was playing BTS because let's be real every Korean shop knew which demographic they should appeal to this week to make the most money and after walking off some of our dinner, papinsu, which is just Korean shaved ice, is the perfect way to end the night. We went to Solon Bean, which is just kind of a classic chain, and got the strawberry papinsu. This is hands down my favorite dessert of all time. It is so refreshing, and instead of just shaving ice, they shave milk. So the shaved snow that they make is so rich and creamy and has a nice subtle sweetness of milk. There aren't a ton of places that sell this in San Francisco, so whenever I come to LA, it is such a treat to get this. On Tuesday, Mike and I decided to work out of the cafe, which was attached to our hotel, and it was called Okayama Kobo, and they sold really cute matcha lattes and pastries that were shaped like little animals and had faces on it. But for breakfast slash lunch, they also had a couple savory options, including this curry bun that was really yummy, and I got my matcha slightly less sweet, and it was perfect. Hello guys, I just hey, met well, Lydia who just came to say hi because she recognized me from BuzzFeed and this is the first time this has ever happened. <laughs> well, how are you doing Lydia? What, what brings you here to this fun I actually cafe? came to see BTS. Oh, this so is my first time in LA. You know, from LA. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm also here to see BTS. Are you going today? I, no, I already went actually oh, you went. from day two. Oh my god. Okay. How was it? Um, it was amazing. It was like <laughs> a dream come true. Honestly, oh I god. wanted to see BTS for like so long. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Just want to say hello. <laughs> We're done-ish with the work day and getting some Daigo Kuya. It's really famous and is always packed. Micah picked up little BT21 lip tints from the Creme uh, collaboration while I was working. We got the Chimmy version. So cute. Well, it smells fruity. Oh. Very Korean it's, looking. <laughs> yeah, I look very Korean with a good lip tint though, you know? One of the things that I believe Daikokuya is most known for is for their thick broth option, which is just an especially fatty pork broth that you can get with your ramen. I'm not normally a big pork person, but I decided to try it because I like trying places kind of house specialty, and I have to say it was so rich and delicious. The flavors of the broth just punch you in the face. Despite there always being a line and a wait for this place, I absolutely see what the hype is. I would definitely come back. This probably had to be one of my favorite ramens I've ever had. As you can see, we're in a new location. I didn't really explain last night, but Micah and I came to the Hilton Santa Monica where we're staying with Micah's friend Sophie who we previously went to Yosemite with, if any of y'all watched that vlog, but we are going to the concert with Sophie and her friend Ying, who's coming in later tonight. It's very, very exciting, but for now, again, it's just a regular work day. Oh, this is good. This is very strong. Sophie, who we are staying with, is an organized queen, so she made 
the one reservation that we used during this trip at Bestia, which is a really popular Italian place in LA. Apparently it can be really hard to get a reservation and it's just very trendy. The food is crazy decadent here. It's very rich Italian food. Everything was so good, but it was also very heavy. And I know that's not everyone's style, but it was definitely a delicious experience with a lot of dishes that I had never really had. So honestly, it was a great time. Thursday was concert day, baby. And I'm honestly not showing a ton of clips because this is an entirely separate vlog. I'll just throw a few in here as a little teaser. <laughs> the vlog was over after bts oh no micah and i have moved to our third and final hotel of this trip well 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 we're back for round two micah didn't get to come here yesterday and it'll actually be in a different video that we're here for the <laughs> bts concert so this will not look repetitive but we're back at Sanondang for some soup for dinner. Mike and I are down bad for some Asian soups and Sanondang absolutely scratches that itch. The first time I came here, I got their carpi tongue. The second time I got their spicy carpi tongue. Both absolutely 10 out of 10 recommend. The meat is so tender from being cooked for so long and the complexity of the flavors of the broth and everything else going on, it is so delicious and all of the kimchi they make, literally some of my favorite kimchi in the world besides my grandma. Even though we were so stuffed after dinner, any Asian American knows after your dinner stomach, you always have your boba stomach that is ready for that post-meal drink. So we just went to Kung Fu Tea. I got a nice little winter melon tea because it doesn't have caffeine. We are back at the hotel room. You know, for a quick second, we thought, you know, it's a Friday night. We're here in LA. Two young, hot Asian <laughs> girls. <laughs> Look at us now. <laughs> we ate a lot, first of all. And then we were like, you know what sounds really good? sitting in the hotel room and watching Run BTS on the giant flat screen while drinking our boba and doing face masks. In so, pajamas. In pajamas. So that is now what our Friday night is going to be and I am so excited. It's fine. It is Saturday, our last day in LA. Mike and I have a really fun, chill day today. We're going to go to a Chimchibang, which is a Korean spa. There's a really big one here in LA, and I've actually never been to one, even in San Francisco. So I'm super, super excited. They have like hot, baths that you can soak in and different rooms and saunas and there's food that they serve i need to get going very soon i'm not wearing any makeup or anything because i just want my pores to breathe and let out all the toxins and it should be a really good day <laughs> I unfortunately couldn't film a ton in the Jimjibang. If you've ever gone to an Asian spa, you know that you just strip completely naked in most of the areas here. So not family friendly, brand friendly content, but another fun part of this Jimjibang is that they have a little cafeteria restaurant. Micah and I got some naengmyeon, which is a cold buckwheat noodle soup. So refreshing after being in hot saunas. And we got one of their fresh fruit juices, which was also really nice to sip on after being in a sauna. Korean slow roasted sauna eggs are also one of my favorite things of all time. I can't even describe to you how they're different from regular hard-boiled eggs you just have to try it and yes it literally just is an egg but it's like the perfect egg and that's all i'm gonna say about that we're in a jade sauna there's jade on the walls i don't know what properties this has or how it's supposed to help but nice place to hang out. Other than just eating, we really did enjoy every aspect of this spa besides the hot baths that you're in in the beginning. The saunas are plentiful. My favorite that we went in would probably have to be the clay sauna where you're kind of just in a sandy beach of clay beads and it kind of feels like you're gonna sink into the center of the earth and it's just gonna swallow you up. And if that mental image doesn't stress you out, it's actually really nice and relaxing. Now that our pores have opened, we're gonna sheet mask a little bit. I know I literally did one of these last night. Nyon from Twice uses a sheet mask every day, so I can use a sheet mask every day. So pretty. Mike and I came to Silver Lake because it wasn't that far from the Jimji Bang. So we're just walking. If you've never seen Silver Lake, this is what the reservoir looks like. 
It is just a reservoir. <laughs> you know what? Good. That's one thing that San Francisco unequivocally does better than LA. Our drinking tap water. The water. <laughs> fucking delicious. <laughs> the water in San Francisco. And the water in LA tastes like ass. <laughs> That's why everyone here is dehydrated and needs to get fucking like IVs. <laughs> who in LA is getting IVs? All the people who get hangovers. Yeah. It's quite nice. It's kind of golden hour. Oh, it is nice. For our last night in LA, I was excited to explore Silver Lake, though due to daylight savings, it did get dark super, super fast. And then we headed back to K-Town, which is honestly just our home base at this point. We browsed around at a few shops, obviously with more K-pop merch before working up an appetite for dinner. Oh my gosh. You could just have your purse be weeb. So we were gonna go to Adafi Book Town, which is like the iconic BTS Korean barbecue place in K-Town that Jin has given a shout out to. However, the wait was three hours for two people. So we were like, hell no, we're not doing that. So we're at Hangari Kaguksu in K-Town, which is also amazing. They have a super simple menu with just a few different types of kaguksu and other noodles as well as gosam kimchi. Kaguksu is Korean knife cut noodle soup. I've seen it most commonly with clams or seafood, but they also have a really delicious chicken one here. The servings I'll say are quite large. We definitely could have split one soup and been very full, but it's kind of fun to try the multiple flavors of soups, you know? We had a very chill rest of the night before I had to wake up early and drive the next day. We just started watching the BTS docu-series on YouTube Premium. I just made some nice little mixed drinky poos out of some grape soju and milk kiss, which is an incredible combination if you've never had it. And that's a wrap on this what I ate in a week and my week in LA. I hope you all enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching. If you're interested in seeing more what I eat style videos in the future, definitely let me know. Otherwise, take care. Love you. Jesus loves you. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.